Alright guys, hello and welcome to the fourth episode of my show, Chronicles of Quasadilla. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I played on all my placement matches. I am now at Gold Division 2. Uh, I played a total of 13 games. I won the majority of them. Only lost one game, but uh, everything is looking, looking good so far. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump in here right away. <clears throat> All right, so so pretty much I've just been playing um, like stuff that's really good in lanes that uh, snowballs quite easily and doesn't rely on on um, like your teammates to to perform really well. We've been playing a lot of top lane Shivana and just strong laners overall. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get metal or top because I think those are the those are the roles I personally like the most in solo queue. I mean, mid's easiest to carry with as as I've said so so many times before, but <coughs> top lane can also be good depending on, on how good your jungler is because in solo queue, top lane de depends a lot on 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 your jungler pressure and the enemy jungler pressure on you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna wait until the uh, till it's my turn to pick to figure out what I'm gonna play. You generally want to pick if you're early into the picks, like second pick in the picking phase. You don't want to pick something too vulnerable that could get counterpicked or something. You should want to pick something safe that will define against most uh, champions. The one game I lost, I was playing Poppy top lane, which is like the best example of the champion you don't want to pick, which is like low impact champion early on in the game, which is really bad in solo queue because your team can lose the game before you can do anything. Okay, so they have a Trinomir and a Lee Sin. So this is most likely going to be a top lane Trinomir. Um, so I get the option to pick something that I would like to play against it. Um, I could play... I, could actually, I actually want to try a Terry God, but it doesn't seem to be that good anyway. So I probably won't do that. Um... What's good against Trindamir? Hmm. I think Jack sounds like a good option against Trindamir. Let's do this. Just because he's Counter Strike. Ne Nessus is banned. O otherwise, I would have picked. Pro I would have probably picked Nessus.
Okay, so in this matchup, I want to take... Since I'm not going to take any magic damage from... Uh, what's his face? I'm going to take CDR Blues instead of MR. And as far as Masters go, I would go for... Mm, this is pretty good. Uh, spell weaving, damaging enemy champion with basic attacks, increases spell damage by 1%. Uh, this is not that bad. Because you do have a lot of uh, spell damage. You can do this, this, and. Actually, I'm gonna take more points into this. Just because last hitting is really important. Uh, you you want to get as, many, as much CS as possible. Wait, I have a Timo and a Nivea and Ash. I'm confused. Hmm. So, I've been wanting to try out Doran's Blade Start on a lot of champions that I play, and I think Jax would be a good champion to try that out, especially in this matchup, because I don't think a Doran's Shield would do me uh, a lot. Because Trendemir usually just hits you a couple times and you're like half health already, so the block's not that great, and the sustain is alright, but I think Doran's Blade could, could be more effective. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out, see how I like it. Oof, it's kinda cold. Dorans, a board, and Dorans trinket and potion head back to lane. Uh, as far as trinkets go for top lane, you're always gonna get this one, the warding totem. Uh, it's especially good in, with Jax because you can ward, ward hop onto the ward. You can you can you can hop onto the uh, trinket ward, so you can uh, have a another escape route with that. I have a lot of AD, 90 AD, which is pretty sweet. My ease is gonna do a lot of damage. If I dodge a total of five attacks, I'll have an extra 100% damage onto my E, which is gonna get me to 130 damage, which is like really, really good for one spell. It makes trading level one really, really good. So we see Lee Sin starting blue area, which is understandable. It's what is reasonable to do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna ward the red buff with my trinket. So when he comes to the red, I'll have vision of him, which is always useful. This should last long enough to give me vision of Leeson. Okay, 
he has two long he has long sword okay I use the to get out of my out of my counter strike okay we still listen My E does a lot of damage, and so do my auto attacks with the Doran's Blizzard, so I was able to catch the, uh, the chamber by surprise. I flashed in with my E, which was fully charged from the auto attacks from the minions, and I was able to do a lot of damage to him. So now I'm going to get a launch start, um, a lot of potions, and a ward. Because I don't have flash, so i got to be playing a little bit careful now. I'm gonna be back to my W from now on. You should only take one level on E. I think that's good enough. So he's probably gonna try to freeze the lane, which is what it seems like he's doing. I'm just gonna place one ward, um, and then the other, the trinket ward, I'm gonna save to uh, use it as an escape tool. In case I do get ganked, which is likely. Okay, he's using his E aggressively, but our release is not ganking yet. So I can't really take advantage of that. Katrina seems to be roaming. I'm gonna call MIA. He's probably gonna try to look for something mid. Um, There's nothing else he can do at this point in the lane because I'm freezing to my turret. He might be doing uh, jungle minions or ganking mid. So it's always good to communicate with your team, let him know that the enemy laner has gone missing. Okay, it's back. Could get ganked soon, so I gotta watch out for that too. I might just go back though. Mm, I say. It's unfortunate that Elise is not looking to gank, because Elise is like a really strong jungler because of it. Or ganking pressure. Ah. Uh. Wait, who pinged back? Am I getting ganked by like, Timo? I don't know what went on there, but yeah, you can see this this listen um, this trainer is really greedy. 
he got really greedy for CS and didn't respect my damage once again. And he died because of it. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna start building towards my um, towards my Triforce. I got this longsword because longswords right now are really cost efficient, so you can get them at any point. They're like the new Doran's blade because before you could get like a Doran's blade just to stack up in one efficient item, but now you can do it with longswords and you can build them into like items like this, like village water is something I'm gonna buy. So it's not a waste or anything. Okay, at this point I can freeze the lane for an unlimited period of time, which I can do that, and I probably will. Because it sets their top laner behind. Forces them to Okay, he didn't even ulti there. But yeah, uh since I was freezing the, the, the wave, he was he got desperate for CS and tried to he got too far forward to try to get this CS and ended up dying for it because I'm really hot right now. My team is in trouble. Ah, oh, it's fine. He's gassed in. Where is he? Fine. Come to me, friend. Come to me. Hopefully, I can make I can make it in time to help him. I'm gonna be slow by the shroom. Mm. Okay. Anivia's mid. She went all the way mid from bot. Uh, let's get the minions, okay. <clears throat> if the casting ran towards me, then I would have saved him, but he still got hit by an arrow, which is like really unfortunate. He probably didn't see that coming anyway. <coughs> Probably just gonna go back right now and get more items. Eh, I sure I'm gonna stay. At least he's bottom, so I can play aggressive on top. I can pressure this because he's really low. He kept getting greedy for CS and I keep punishing him. So he might be doing golems right now. Which is fine by me. Because he's gonna miss the whole wave of turret. Okay, he didn't even need the golems. I think he's so worried. Yeah, he's doing red. Okay. Okay. That's perfect, got a red buff. So yeah, when I was doing golems, I saw like a word particle on the, on the brush, so it allowed me to uh, notice that it was doing red buff. So I'm not, I'm not hacking the game, it's just I was able to tell that it was doing red because of the, uh, the particle that I saw over the uh, fog, of war, fog of war. So I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna keep building So where's the stuff I want to build I'm gonna get life still at this point because it's, it's pretty useful 
So unless you're looking to roam or make plays, uh, it's not worth it to buy boots in the laning phase. So as you can see, I don't have boots with all my items, which is completely fine. I'm building to oh, push my lead and survive a gank and probably turn it around. That's my mini focus with these items. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna flash for it. Could have probably just kept chasing him, but I wanted to stay just out of range of the turret, but I had to bolt flash for that, which is kinda bad, but it's fine. So he used, he used his ulti, and I didn't blow anything important other than flash, but flash doesn't really matter to me. So. I can push to turret and look to kill him again. Because he doesn't have ulti now. Oh, damn, I'm missing minion. I might just proxy the wave. Okay, I see him doing golems. I can go mess with him. Okay, he got it. He got it, the big one, but it's fine. He's gonna miss this huge wave just to get the golem. Team was missing, so he might actually be coming top. It's very likely that he's coming, actually. So I gotta play safe until Timo shows up in the map again. Which does kinda suck, because I could have killed this guy, but it's better than to die to a gank. Okay, Timo just went back. He showed up. Uh, at this point, I think Trinity has his ultimate up, so I don't think I can bully him that hard. But I'm still denying him, so yes. I don't want to take the turret yet, because I want to keep this going as, as much as possible. If I take the turret down, there's a bigger risk of me pressuring. Actually, it's mid, but... Trinium is fine, I mean, Castle is fine. I can run bottom, mid, mid. So, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, Timo sees me coming. Yeah, there's, there's a shrimp right here. That's how. So, I'm just gonna go back top. Trinity is taking uh, Timo's CS off mid because he can do anything top. I'm gonna actually take this turret down. Oh, that's not in the brush. Okay, they sent an arrow top, didn't do anything. Timo died mid, so that's something else I don't have to worry about. So by the time you push the first turret down and you're like hitting the second turret, there's no point in and still like denying CS. It's best to just take the turret down as soon as possible. Okay, we see at least in bottom, so that's pretty good for me. At least I can pressure this, probably take this down. Timo might be coming after he uh, revives, but I should be able to take this down. 
just gonna do one more in camp here and head back to base. I get a lot of gold. Okay, Timo is here. Need I jump to my ward? Fuck! Oh my god, I suck. <laughs> that was so bad of me. My team is still here. I'm dead. No, ah, cruel world. Oh, what was that? It's like a huge green box that just showed up. No, cast and don't die, brother. Uh, yeah, that that was really bad of me. I just like I tried to queue to the ward, but I ended up like going around because I didn't manually do it correctly. I'm not that used to uh, ward hopping, but it's fine. I got a lot of gold, so. I'm gonna go ahead and spend that. I got a lot of items now. I'm pretty strong, and it's, I, I have flash. I mean, I have flash now, so that's also really good for me. Hmm. Timo has a very interesting build. I'm not sure what he's building. Um, but yeah, I got greedy to get the golem, and after that, I fucked up my escape. Because I messed up the uh, the word hopping, so I mean it's just it's just me playing badly. I should have gotten out of there. Should never stop. I mean, but I should probably be grouping up. But there's a really big wave that I want to keep pushing. I'm just gonna kill the ranged minions here to so get the uh, the wave slope. Oh no, man, they killed Trinimir. Yeah, it's pretty weak, so. I figure he wouldn't do money much. So I'm just gonna go mid and take turns down while bot top's gonna be uh, slow pushing into them. Oh, he flashed it. Could I probably play that better too? I had no idea at least it was there, but I guess it was kinda lucky. Okay, fucked up. But we should have to pick this skill. Ah fuck. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. We should be able to take this too. Yeah, cast it in Roman top and kill the Trinomir. Who is split pushing? Oh, they surrender. Okay, GG. <clears throat> Alright, so you can take this game as an example of um, not picking your soul, something vulnerable for your soul lane. Like this, this Trinimir picked, uh, I mean, this guy picked Trinimir being first pick, so he got easily uh, put into a, back, a bad lane. Because Jax does pretty well against Shinomir, so I was able to counter pick him. So in solo queue, you gotta make sure you don't get uh, screwed over in laning phase. So pick something safe, or you can, uh, if you're gonna solo, it's best to uh, pick after they pick their champion. Uh, hmm. Client seems kind of weird. I'm not sure why it's not showing up on stream, but anyway, um, yeah, it's, I don't know why it's bugging out. Hmm. Yeah, I have the worst of luck with OBS. Oh, there you go. Oh, there it is. All right, I just had to click on it. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's it's really good to pick a champion like Jax if you're into a good lane like Trinimir. 
because uh, that a lot is gonna allow you to snowball and do pretty well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for my fourth episode of uh, Chronicles of Quasadilla. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit. Um, and yeah, see you around for next time, guys.